Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight. And we begin with breaking news. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Alaska tonight. A powerful earthquake struck the Alaskan. Good day, everyone. We're coming on the air with news of a major earthquake in Alaska striking just north of Anchorage. The What's going on, guys? Um, I don't know if you guys can see this really well, but if you checked out this long sleeve t-shirt I'm wearing, the logo, you check out the logo. Pretty cool, right? Um, along with this cool hat, look at that kill fish now vibes. Wow. All right, we should put that on. All right, so today I'm just gonna be talking about a couple of things that have been going on. A uh, really short video. So I, I don't think I ever really discussed what my channel is. But it's about fishing, traveling, eating different foods. Basically, that's what it, that, that's what my channel is about. Not really too much going into that. But what I really want to get to is where my hometown is, guys. I don't know if you guys know where I'm from. I don't think I've ever spoken about it, but I mean, I've talked about the chef being from Alaska, Rockets being from Alaska, and working there. That's where my hometown is, guys. That's where I grew up. I went to school out there. I graduated with high honors, and I did so much amazing things. That was a lie. Honestly, I probably passed with like C's and D's, made it through, never got yelled at. Okay, maybe I went to the office a couple times, but what I, uh, what I really want to get into is an earthquake that happened in Alaska, really close to home, really close to my hometown of Sandpoint. It was a 7.8 magnitude. 7.8 is a pretty big earthquake, guys. I'm gonna show a little photo here. So here in the photo, we're looking at one of my friends. Um, his name is Robert, or we like to call him Joe or Bobo. You can see him uh, where this whole crack is, guys. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy to see that. I don't know if you guys ever watched San Andreas with the rock, with the tectonic plates, and a big earthquake, and wrecking the whole city and the town. That's what it basically looked like. But yeah, um, Alaska was hit pretty hard. So I just want to get into where I came from and the whole reasoning for me fishing and um, doing all these fishing videos for you guys. Through these photos, you can tell this is my best friend. His name is Brandon. Um, was fishing with him. Uh, with his dad, he was actually the captain at the time. Brandon runs the boat now, I don't know if he actually runs it. Yeah, but I had some fun times. You can see him, uh, a deck load of pots here, fishing for uh, Dungeness. Looks like he has some king crabs down there on the floor. That might have been out of luck. Um, another photo here of a lot of king crabs on the, on the um, deck there. So he must have had a pretty good year. He never told me about that. Didn't even want to send me some. Thanks a lot, bro. Painting. The bottom of the Sharina, which is uh, another boat I was fishing on um, from my sister. I like to call her my sister. She's a really good friend of mine, um, which you can see here. Hey, y'all, she's taken. So don't even try it, guys. So that's my best friend. I call her my sister. Um, she, we really hung out. We talked a lot. Um, spent nights, most nights, talking about uh, my relate, like my different. Uh, things I was going through at the time, um, how she helped me out, and how I was able to stay in my own mindset my, and, and stay straightforward um, throughout my life because of her and because of other people too as well. But she did play a really big impact and I appreciate it and I love you and I miss you and I hope you and Jack are doing good along with the dog. Hopefully the dog wasn't scared of the earthquake. Getting right into it, have a couple more other pictures here, spending time on the beach. Really lovely days. But yeah, what I really wanted to get, to get into um, was, just go, was just growing up over there in Alaska. It really hit home, uh, really hit me really hard knowing that like that was all going down. Waking up, um, getting two missed phone calls from my mom and my brother. Not realizing that could have been the last call I could have gotten from them, which is a you know a pretty sad thought to know that that could, that that could have been the last time. COVID-19 ain't stopping for no one. 2021 is gonna be the year, guys. 2020, um, just relax, just, just stay calm. Keep your, keep, your, keep your financial status healthy. Um, keep that money rolling. Save all that money for 2021. Um, it's, we're gonna do big things, guys. We're gonna do big things. We just all gotta stay healthy. Um, but with COVID and then the earthquake, um, it, it just made me wanna do this video, I'll let you guys know where I'm from. Um, and why I do these videos. I, I do these videos because um, I love fishing. I love being outdoors. Obviously, 
Um, I'm gonna show a couple clips here of my hometown, of the beauty of it. Uh, everybody just out fishing. This is, a fi this is a fishing community, guys. So as you can see right now, this, uh, this fleet of boats out here doing our thing, working really hard. These guys, I mean, they grind. Like they grind, grind. Like I've never met any. I've met the. I've met the most hardest workers um, out here working on boats and being around the boat harbor. And you don't really realize uh, the boat harbor life until you're actually in it. Like it's a whole different life, guys. Like being a, being in a boat harbor, being on a boat, working on a boat, just being around water the whole time and, and being around fish the whole time puts you in a different perspective. Um, being around hardworking people who, who take their job seriously because this is where their income is com coming from. They're not doing YouTube, they're not, they don't have no side hustles. Maybe they do some of them, but I mean, some of this is a, a generational thing. This is a, a job that, that's gonna uh, span for years and years for these guys. This is Ken, I work with him. We rebuilt the school's uh, gym floor. He may look like a UFC fighter, but don't get him full, guys. He's a big teddy bear. He's a really nice person. Um, and I appreciated working with him and, and getting to know him um, as a person too and making friends with him. So um, I'm gonna end the video here, but I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, these clips of my hometown, San Point, Alaska. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Stay safe, wear the mask. Hope you guys catch that next big one. Peace! Oh, and before I go, um, you can go on Etsy here and follow the Naughty Crew. Um, that's actually where I got this hat and this long sleeve, sh this long leaves sh shirt. Um, this long sleeve shirt, you can always go on to Etsy uh, as you're scrolling down here. Boom, look at that. And yeah, there's also um, different outfitters too as well. I mean, this t-shirt I got for my girl, you can get that. Try to support them little businesses, guys. Try to support the Alaskan fam. Fish fam, YouTube fam, new subscribers. Hey, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. Again, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.
Yes.